Hey guys, Scott with Training Post Pickers. This is going to be a what sold for uh, Monday the 20th through the 23rd. It's Tuesday morning right now. Yesterday was kind of slow, only had three sales, but uh, they had some, some good value to them. It's three sales for 100, just shy of $133. All right, I'm gonna uh, get to it and show it to you. Uh, we still have over the weekend stuff that we box up to get to the post office because they were closed yesterday for President's Day. So we'll, we'll just add this to it when I head over. So let me get to it and uh, we'll add the rest of the week to it later. All right, first up, um, this wasn't listed long. This is um, the first official Marvel Triumphs book. It's got Spider-Man on the front. Um, it says it's uh, number one. It's from 1983. And it's uh, kind of, it's got comics in the first and then it has uh, a section where you try to start drawing and do your own. This is in, uh, for the age, it's it's a pretty pretty good darn condition. It was only listed for maybe two days. And believe it or not, it sold for $44. This uh, is basically free because we got the two crates. I'm gonna show you the crate size. Because I'm still working on more comics. But we got two crates like this full of comics for $250. One of the first ones I pulled down there pretty much paid for all of them. But this is all I have left. I've been trying to whittle through uh, comics, get them listed. Some of them aren't worth a whole lot. So I'm just going to group them together, Marvel or DC, and they sell them us a lot. But for basically free, $44. I like that one. Another big one that I didn't even know about, Christina listed this one. This one is, um, she says it's very rare. It's a Russ Berry plush by Heartcraft Collection. It's a 10 inch beanie. It actually has its tag with it. It's not tie. So if it was tie, it's probably only gonna be worth a dollar. But it, it is Russ. Uh, she says it's very rare tag. Believe it or not, this thing sold for $50. I'm not even for sure where we got this from. I think it may have came out of uh, the Boyd's Bears haul that we got. So if that's the case, we're probably into this for 75 cents or so. $50. I like it. And the third one for today is, you've seen them. Um, this is another chess piece. This is uh, the marble. It's a little Aztec of the night. I'm getting pretty thin on these now, but um, I, li I like the fact that they, they've been selling even after Christmas. Uh, this one sold for $5.95. All right, we are back. It is Thursday morning. My days are off on shipping, but that's okay. We'll get back to it. But so far, uh, yesterday was actually a pretty good day. Quite a bit of items going out. Nine items for just under $219. Not too bad, seeing how it's been kind of slow. All right, first up is a snow baby. This was given to us by Christina's sister. It is called From My Heart to Yours good condition and it was sold for $16 all right next up is same comic that we sold before this is spider-man one of august gentleman got this one it's sent just like this with the backing plastic i put it in a flat rate envelope by the post office and then put it in a bubble mailer he complained it didn't have enough padding to it and i guess he thought this was in mint condition which I didn't put it in there as mint condition. I just put it on there as acceptable. He sent it back, which is fine. But it resold again for $7.50. And I think he had ended up paying $7 for it before. But uh, this one resold for $7.50. All right, more chess pieces. This is, um, I know what to start looking out for. But this is the brown ones, the Aztec. This one is the Bishop. That one's the Pawn. I believe I got five more of the ponds left. Um, no other brown ones are, are left except for the ponds. The gentleman came in about two of them and he spent $11.90. We have another comic. Again, I didn't put anything in there as mint because they are worn, they are um, red copies. But this one is uh, number three, Love and Rockets. 
this is part of that huge pool that I got um, when we had the store. And this one sold for $7.95. This one I got to pull out of the bottom here. This is the... This one was uh, Christina. This is the one that, if I'm not mistaken, that she got from the thrift store in Kansas City. But it's two different pieces, uh, two different listings. It's all these plastic pieces. This one sold by itself. Um, I've already combined shipping on it. This is a Fisher Price Little People, a um, little village type or jungle. And then the rest is from the um, train set. I think it's called the Mountain Train Set. Got a little boulder, hammer, a little flag. Oops, if I get that down there. And I got three other pieces here. So we lighted this up as one lot, and then the jungle was a separate one. And a lady came in and bought the mountain set and says she's interested in the jungle, but the pricing was too much, which for some reason she didn't understand that there's combined shipping, I think. I don't I don't know if she didn't understand her or, or it just eBay didn't do it. And I told her if eBay doesn't combine it correctly, then I'll I'll refund the difference. Which luckily she purchased it, but she didn't buy it. So I was able to send her an invoice with the correct shipping and she paid for it instantly. So uh, not too bad, but we got, I want to say she got the, I know this is combined. We still got more pieces, pieces of this, but I think she might've paid $10 total, but she got two sets out of, out of it. If I'm not mistaken, I'll, I'll do a little pop-up because she'll, she'll correct me later on it or I'll ask her. But uh, these, the, both of these sold together for $24. Next up, uh, this is a couple of toys that my dad had. I had them in my store. They must have got the mixed up in the move. He'll still get the money out of it. This is Action City Outdoor Activities. Um, it's a nice little truck pulling an uh, Airstreamer, a little glider. It's by Real Toy. It sold for $14. We have a Manhattan toy. This is a little uh, puppy dog. He's about 10 inches. Actually, we was watching um, the Rebel Reseller last night. And by the time this video comes out, it'll probably be last week. She was talking about Manhattan toys. And uh, it's just kind of funny how she talked about it. And then we have this one. We're probably into this for maybe a dollar, 50 cents probably. But it ended up selling for $10. Okay, we have another comic. This is Sandman number 19 from 1990. This one is in actually pretty good condition. I wouldn't say mint. It's probably not gradable, but it is in really good condition. This one sold for $5. And we're not really into it for anything. And for now, this is actually a... This is the last one for today until I ship out. But we still have today to go. So this is a Snuggle Buds Kids Hippo. And the hippo ends up being the pillow... And then you can pull out the sleeping bag. So once the sleeping bag's out, the hippo becomes the pillow. Um, I'm not sure where we get this from. But I do know we got it when we was up here in Tennessee. So we've... Less than a year. I, I think we got it near the end of summer. And I think Christina paid a dollar for it, I believe. Um, it was listed a little bit higher. Um, just because sales have been kind of slow, we want to get more space in here. This was actually up in the loft up over here, but um, it gives more room for, for more stuff. And we wanted to push it, but a dollar and it sold for 25 I know we had it listed a little bit higher, but that's fine. I mean, you know, just, I'll take 25 times anytime. That's it for now, but we're, that we're going to uh, add in the rest of the day. It's a little early right now. We got a lot of, a lot of stuff to do today. It's like 8.30 in the morning, so we still get the rest of the day, so there'll be another add-on tomorrow for to finish off the week. All right, we're going to round off the weekend here, or the week. We're going to round off the week here. <laughs> I, I'm losing track of what day it is. We have a vintage 
big 120 scale. It's a 1974 Corvette model. This we got the uh, estate sale that uh, we both actually killed it. Christina got half the truck load full, and I got like a spot in the back seat. But uh, <laughs> which one was this? This was the one where you got the avocado pans and were you just oh, cracking out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and no, it was good. It was a really good um, estate sale. I mean, we, we've we done really good on it already. This Corvette is a model. It It's not brand new, but there is pretty much new. Um, I sold it as is. Um, you can see they've already put some decals and stuff on the plastic. But other than that, it's it's still pretty much new. It ended up selling for $51. I think on this one they had a uh, two dollars on it, I believe. And after after comping this, um, they had a bunch of other model cars, but they were already put together. Um, after comping it, it, the old models I realized still sell on eBay too, as as far as good prices go. Um, it looks like, and from what I've heard uh, from doing some research online, um, people like the older cars, and they can take them back apart and part and modify them how they like so that's another thing i would be keeping a lookout for and i know my dad um is sending a bunch of his old models up here once once they get up here i'll, I'll end up listing those as well and finally for the week is a pair of sas women's mocha classic slip-on loafers we got these i think we got these at goodwill there was two pairs of these they look brand new i think there was a blue pair but um, we pay five dollars standard price at Goodwill. At, at our Goodwill, it's five dollars for a pair of shoes, and they sold for twenty-five dollars. That's it for the week. Not a whole lot, good value, but as far as number of items, not a whole lot. All right, we will let you go, and thank you for everyone who watches. For those who subscribe, we really appreciate it. We will see you on the next video. Bye.